the Lord told me, Behold, for many are about to fight the biggest battle of their life. The chosen ones stick around until the very end and you will yourself know that who are liable to get into this battle. Child of God, an unseen attack from the hell is coming to the world once again and this time many will face it for the first time in their life. For all those who have got a chance to receive this serious revelation, I seriously request you to watch this video until the very end to receive each and every single word God has spoken about you. And for all who are still choosing to mock God by ignoring His word, His signs and His messages, they will all regret it very soon. You are now listening to a powerful prophetic message that is coming to your eyes and ears by the holy will of God. So, listen carefully. The devil, the unseen enemy, is preparing to bring another chaos from hell. Not just in your life, but in the lives of many around the globe. And he, the devil, doesn't want you to receive this message until the very end because he is attacking your focus. Whenever the people in the world is under spiritual attack, there are always signs like subtle shifts in the spiritual atmosphere unexplained disturbances and a pervasive sense of unease. The world is undergoing through a period where we are heading toward the last days and this is the reason we are witnessing so many changes in the normal patterns. Everything is behaving strange whether you talk about the people or the elements in nature, everything is getting affected in this shift and they all are meant to behave strange. We all are witnessing these signs as of now. So recognizing these signs because they are the hubbings of the battle to come. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 1 to 5 says, But mark this, there will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than the lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power, have nothing to do with such people. Multiple Christians around the globe have already started behaving strange and during this particular attack, the devil is trying hard to influence your heart and your mind. Yes, you heard it right. The chosen one, God has spoken and this unseen attack is not to harm you physically but spiritually this time so that you could walk the path the devil wants you to walk on and he aims to distort your thoughts, plant seeds of doubt and steer you away from the divine purpose God has set for you. This time he aims at your focus 
because recently you have been too much focused on God and His words. Know that, child of God, this spiritual warfare is subtle yet powerful. The devil's tactics involve creating confusion, sowing discord, and making you question your faith and worth. He knows that if he can influence your heart and mind, he can divert you from the righteous path and weaken your spiritual resolve. Enemies and challenges, whether external like oppressive individuals or internal like personal sins, serve a larger purpose in God's plan. They often appear during our most vulnerable times or after significant victories, aiming to distract and discourage us. In life, we often face enemies and challenges that makes us question why a loving God will allow such difficulties. Reflecting on the Bible, we see that even the great figures like Elijah, the three Hebrews boys, David and Daniel, faced significant adversaries. These biblical accounts, along with the stories of King David and Saul, Nehemiah, Elijah and Jezebel and Joseph, offer us insights into why God permit enemies into our lives. Recently, you have started discerning the signs of God. You have started paying more attention to what the works of God in the world. You have grown up into the presence of the Lord. And this is the reason the devil is trying to bring chaos into your life from hell. The enemy recognizing the deepening of your faith and the strength you are drawing from God's presence. And he is threatened by it. The spiritual maturity makes you a prime target for the devil's schemes. He seeks to disturb your peace, sow seeds of doubt and distract you from your divine purpose. The adversities you face, whether they manifest as internal struggles or external conflicts, are his attempts to undermine your faith and pull you away from God. Through business, media, materialism, relational conflicts, temptations, doubt, fear, and pride, he seeks to weaken our faith and hinder our walk with the Lord. Christians worldwide from new believers to those in persecution are vulnerable to these attacks. However, the chosen one. Be encouraged. This very opposition is a testament to the impact of your growing relationship with God. The devil would not waste his efforts on you if your faith were not significant. Your trials are evidence that you are on the right path, drawing closer to God and making a difference in His kingdom. In these moments of chaos, Remember the examples set before you in the scripture. Just as God allowed Elijah to be hunted by Jezebel, the three Hebrew boys to be thrown into the fiery furnace, David to face Goliath, and Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den, he allows these trials in your life for a greater purpose. Each of these biblical figures faced immense challenges, yet their faith remained steadfast. Their stories are not just historical accounts, but they are the blueprints for how we can navigate 
our own adversities with faith and courage. During this spiritual attack, it is crucial to remain vigilant and steadfast. The enemy may try to isolate you, make you feel alone in your struggles, and convince you that others do not understand. But take heart in knowing that you are not alone. The Holy Spirit is with you, providing wisdom, comfort, and strength. Seek fellowship with other believers who can provide support and encouragement. Share your burdens and pray for one another. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. It is written in James chapter 5 verse 16. So the chosen one, I request you, don't hesitate to pray as much as you can. And for now, join me in a powerful prayer. Together, we will go to our Father in Heaven. Heavenly Father, in the midst of this spiritual battlefield, we come before your throne of grace seeking your divine protection and your guidance. Lord, we recognize the cunning schemes of the enemy, who prowls like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Yet, in your infinite mercy and love, you have equipped us with the armor of your faith, righteousness, peace, truth, salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is your word. As we stand firm in your mighty powers, we lift our voices in fervent prayer, knowing that you are a refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. Father, we acknowledge the distractions and temptations that surround us, seeking to pull us away from your presence. From the busyness of our schedules to the allure of worldly pleasures. From the doubts that plague our minds to the fears that grip our hearts. We confess our vulnerabilities before you. Yet, we declare your sovereignty over every situation and circumstance. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end and nothing can separate us from your love. Lord, we pray for discernment to recognize the enemy's tactics and wisdom to navigate the challenges we face. Help us to prioritize our relationship with you above all else. To seek first your kingdom and your righteousness. Grant us the strength to simplify our lives to let go of the distractions that hinder our intimacy with you. May your word be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path, guiding us in the way of truth and righteousness. Father, we lift up the global body of believers, knowing that we are all united in the bond of your Spirit. Strengthen the faith of new believers. Protect those facing persecution and encourage those who feel isolated or overwhelmed. Surround us with fellow believers who will uplift and support us on this journey of faith. Help us to stand together as one body, united in purpose and love. Lord, as we put on the armor of God, we pray for your divine protection over our minds and hearts. Shield us from the fiery darts of the enemy and guard us against his deceitful schemes. Fill us afresh with your Holy Spirit that we may walk in your power and authority, overcoming every obstacle that stands in our way. 
In closing, Father, we surrender ourselves afresh to your will and your ways. May our lives be a living testimony to your goodness and grace, shining as lights in the darkness of this world. We thank you, Lord, for the victory we have in Christ Jesus and for the assurance that nothing can separate us from your love. May your name be glorified in all the earth, both now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So thank you all for joining in. Share this message with every believer, every friend of you, and let them be aware of the upcoming unseen attack from the devil. May God bless you. Amen.